In 2005, my teammates and I started Fasting Female out of a real need. We noticed there were fewer women coming up at the same time, I'm very connected in my community with all the kids I babysit. I have a sister who's five years younger, and I just felt that between all the pressures I feel on young women about body image and self-worth, and noticing that the alarming rate at which they're dropping out of sport, especially my sport, skiing, something had to be done. So we started a small get-together, called it Fasting Female, the goal to inspire and be inspired and from these modest beginnings came this organization that has now grown to span all over North America. Germany ahead of Russia. Two goals of Fasting Female are spread the love and dominate the world. The first goal, spread the love, just speaks about participation. Doing sport, any sport, any activity, but doing it with your friends and using that social support to stay active and have a ton of fun. The second goal of Fast and Female is dominate the world. And that's because I'm a racer and Fast and Female is built on the efforts and time commitments of the ambassadors who are Olympians and community leaders in sport. And certainly we hope that the next generation is inspired to take this to the highest level and also that that message transcends sport. Anything you do in life, go big. We're all exposed to so many ranges of role models and unfortunately not all of them are positive. So the power of the Fast and Female Ambassador when they are attending Fast and Female events and connecting with our participants is that they are allowing that positive reinforcement of body image and of strong women and of, of reaching for your goals. Positive female role models are so important and certainly the ones we have in sport, we cannot beat these women. They're so positive, they're so strong, they get through so much adversity to achieve what they achieve. I've been a kindergarten teacher for many years and I've placed great value on getting young women involved in sports early and keeping them involved in sports. Annie had a lot of problems going into the high school with, with bullying um, when she was about 13 or 14, and Fast and Female really gave her the tools that she needed to be able to overcome that. Smart. As the trial flies, high like the dog. Warm it up, warm. Fast and Female is about inspiring Faster Female's expansion has been incredibly impressive in no small part to the taking up of the cause by the American cross-country skiers who have now shared it across all the different winter sports that they're engaged with and certainly will expand into summer in no short order. So it's impressive because certainly starting out as a small, small thing, it's now grown to be embraced by so many communities not just in Canada where we started, but also all across the states. I'm a proud parent and I support Fast and Female. From the very beginning, the goal of Fast and Female was to expand it into what I used to call every sport at every school by a certain year, trying to have that big, hairy, audacious goal that we all love to chase after. And certainly it's going amazing with that. The ambassadors from winter and summer sports are fantastic. They jump in, they take the cause as their own, to make a difference in the lives of young women. And I know that similarly to me, they get a lot out of it themselves. It's so inspiring to see the young women charging, pushing their limits, and when they are asked you all those questions, you know, it reminds you that you actually have a, a wealth of knowledge to share. So the ambassadors from other sports are one of the most exciting things about the organization for me when I hear of a, a new mountain biker, a ski jumper, all kinds of amazing, inspiring women, incredible stories. We all like to make a difference in the lives of the next generation, so that's really what's fueling the fire right now. First of all, the Fast and Female logo is very catchy. You know, it, it stands out, it pops, people are drawn to it. So necessarily what that means is that people want to be associated with and you know, also all the positive messages around the organization.
so cool for us to be involved with uh, with such a great growing program. Um, we love cross country skiing. We love um, everything that the program is doing, and, we, and it's amazing to see it uh, to see it expand. The Ambassador Ambassadors are really doing more and more programming. They're the ones who bring the seeds of inspiration to the Passive Female events. So, of course, you know, some of them have Olympic medals around their necks. Others are provincial team athletes or national team athletes. They've been to world championships. So, they are able to bring their experience, their enthusiasm, and connect with our Passive Female I think it's amazing. Um, we definitely need more girls to stay in working in the First Nations communities in the North and the Northwest Territories and taking the beauty of this cross-country skiing sport that's already so embraced there to communities that really need it most. Spread the love. Spread the love. Spread the love and dominate the world. Spread the love and dominate the world. Yeah.